everything's good, buddy. I promise. We owe you. It's midnight. We're gonna start a trip right now. I'm really excited for this adventure. This will be the longest we've been out together. We came in last night, found a flat spot on the ground and kind of slept there. We got up this morning and we've been paddling and portaging, burning a lot of energy. Wolf's been a super good boy this whole time. I'm really pleased, really happy with him. The whole point of this trip is to paddle into a spot and set up a nice base camp for a few nights. I want to make my own camp. I want to make it comfortable. And then we're going to go and explore the lakes around here, hopefully catch some trout and just spend a lot of time together. There's no bugs out yet. The weather's supposed to be beautiful. I've come upon this awesome site, which I really like. I got to start working on it quite a bit to make it home. I picked this spot out for a few reasons. Um, it's kind of level, kind of level. I can I can find a level-ish spot. I'm gonna set up a nice big tarp to camp underneath. Um, so I have a good open area here for Wolfie to explore, for me to have this to chill. And then there's a nice rock outcropping out there where I can have my fire pit. And as you can tell, the wind is kicking up. The bugs aren't out yet, but they have been pinging off me a little bit here and there, so I assume by a couple days from now they will be. With the breeze coming through this spot, nice area, uh, nice breezy area, they won't be as bad here. I do want to clean up these branches. It'll be good firewood, but also so Wolf doesn't run around and poke himself on it and or the tarp. I'm gonna cut them right next to the tree so that there's nothing sticking out. And there's a bonus to that. There's a little bit of like a turpentine resin fatwood style right up next to the tree. So all this stuff can be used as firewood along with the stuff I had to remove already. Wolf is just being awesome. rocks. Hey, bonus rocks. Hey, we got another one in there somewhere. The rock pile. Freaking J-Rock rolls up. Oh, see? I literally got back 
I woke up in Algonquin Park yesterday morning. It was like six or seven hours south of where I live. And um, was, I just did a three night trip with Tosh. I was driving home, my wife calls me, says, we all got the flu, don't come home. She knows how bad my guts are. She doesn't want me to get it. <sighs> was already a little ways home. So I went home, grabbed Wolf, grabbed some gear and headed right out. Slept again last night, like I said. So that last night was night four, sleeping outside. Probably do three, three more nights tonight, hopefully. Make it a week consecutive outside on two different trips. I wanna keep this going, guys. I really do. Feeling good. Inner. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. Hokey smokey. I'm really excited to try my new shelter out. This is the Nortent Extreme Bivouac. Extreme. I set it up at home, tried to test it out a little bit, and there was still snow, but that was no fun, because I was done with winter, you know? Done with winter. Anyway, there's two components to this thing. There's just the tarp part, and then there's an internal, which is in here, bug screen if I need it with a bathtub floor and it just it integrates in perfectly but I don't think I need it tonight and if I do need it by the end of the trip I'll put it in but let's just set this big very um, multi-use tarp up you can set it in a lot of different configurations and that wind right now of course picks up holy smokes Okay, the wind stopped for a second. I got one end tied up. Um, get the other up here. I believe this is it. Is this it? Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Okay, that's as far that way as it can go. If not, if this doesn't work, I can fix it up. No, this should be good. This tent, sorry, this uh, tarp rather, has sides you can uh, Velcro together, an awning to pull forward, and it also has a stove jack because you can make it into like a tent style. I'm gonna peg this all out and set it up properly. Grrr. I guess I'm gonna wait a sec. Slap a Joe. Alright. We need uh, a few steaks. Well, actually, I want my front up, I think, still. Hmm. I could obviously pitch it lower, and I might do that. But I kind of want to pitch one side up have like an awning type thing. Huh. Getting there. Oh, and the wind kicks up again. But, lots of room. We're almost done. The 
different day out when the when the wind stops blowing. All right, one more peg down and she's good to go. If it wasn't for that tree in the middle, I could get a little bit more taut, this guy here but it's pretty good as it is. Just a little, little sag, not too much. But check this out. Like, I got so much room under here. There's a stove pipe vent. So you can close this all up like a tent, a frame right down, right? And have Plenty of room under here for a couple people. Um, me and Wolf, Wolf and I are going to be super spacious and comfortable in here. And if inclement weather comes, I can batten down the hatches. If the bugs come, I can buckle it up in here, the inner uh, screen part, which it takes up about half the room. As the, like, this is half, this is half. They both weigh a couple pounds but it's pretty versatile and I'm super happy to be testing it out for a few nights. I'm gonna get my uh, sleeping pad and stuff in here. I don't have a bivy with me. I brought a little, gr oh, I brought a ground sheet. So I don't have a bivy with me. I brought a ground sheet. Anyway, I'm gonna peg this down it's got grommets and tabs and make myself a nice proper little floor here. It's not the most even spot all around, but I do have a nice trench. I already laid down in it uh, where I can lay and Wolf will sleep on rocks and be happy. He doesn't care. I've got Hap Wilson's book, River of Fire, Conflict and Survival on the Seal River. I'm gonna read on this trip, but we have to, uh, we have to get everything squared away and go, go fish. There's a couple of portages I have to do still. We won't have to bring a bunch of gear. We'll bring a little bit. We'll feel have to ride in the back of the canoe as well. Well, because there's barely any weight in the, in the pack, because there's barely any weight in my backpack, I put it in the front, I put Wolfie in the back, I scooted my seat forward. So as long as he stays still back there. Hey, sit, sit, Wolfie. As long as he stays still-ish, he should be okay. Oh my God. We'll see, I might have to put him in the front. I just don't want to plow, you know what I mean? I don't want to be so heavy in the front where I'm pushing the water too much. Good boy. Good boy. What do you say, bud? How's it look up there? Stay, stay. You're gonna fall if you come any closer, dude. <laughs> Well, that didn't last too long. It's actually not bad with him in the front. I uh, slid my seat back, <laughs> put the backpack in the back. It's not so bad, I'm not plowing that much at all. I just, uh, every time he moved back there, I didn't know what was going on because I couldn't see him. I did, didn't want to just keep telling him to stop moving around. So anyways, this is working fine. As you can see, we're moving. And we'll be at the portage pretty soon. Alright. 
first cast. Come on, Trodies. It's not a good time of the day, two o'clock in the afternoon, but it's what time I got here. There's a big old dirty portage to get here too. Good boy. Good dog. Um, even with only a little bit of gear. But anyway, we're here, we're gonna fish. Wolfie's moving around quite a bit, bumping the camera. Just chill. Just chill. I tried to let him go run on the shore, but he wanted to come in the boat, so. We're getting fish for him, for us both. Came to a different little spot here. Stay. But you gotta just relax, okay? This is where we are right now. Oh, I got a bite. Got a little hit. Nice. Okay, that's promising. Okay, we got one on. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. Looks nice. Looks real nice. Looks like a rainbow, maybe? Or a really colorful brookie. I gotta let him go a bit. Stay. Stay, bud. Relax, relax. Barely had the hook in him. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. What's that, eh, good boy? What's that? Yeah, good boy. Okay. That's supper. That's supper squared away. Go on. Good. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Nope. Leave that. Uh, Wolf's being weird. He normally eats it raw. I've left a bunch there for him and he's not touching it, so. I'm gonna light this fire and cook up his portion first with nothing on it and just, I'm sure he'll eat it after it's cooked. I, I don't understand why he's not eating it right now, but regardless. Fancy pants husky over here. Fluff pants husky. Use my bag as some sort of a little bit of a wind block. That wind is kicking up at an inopportune time. I collected a bunch of uh, driftwood here. Nice and easy. Man, that freaking wind. He's trying to get away from the smoke. <laughs> a little bit of 
Pine needles never hurt nobody. He's interested now. Go ahead. Good boy. Yes. Still too hot. <laughs> How's that working out for you, big guy? Hey, good boy. There you go. All right. Lovely, lovely. I got more. I'm just <clears throat> I'm gonna cook it one at a time. This fire's plenty big enough. It'll last long enough, and there's a lot more. Uh, driftwood to get if I need it. It's strange, at home he eats the skin raw, you see eat the head, I don't really understand, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, bud. That's about done, that's looking amazing. How was that, bud? Look in your chops. Alright, we got our next piece on, I'm gonna uh, spruce this guy up a touch. Uh -huh. A little bit of lemon juice. Oh, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay, cook more. Cook more, eat more. Man, I'm having a great time. I'm so I don't I don't do well in the winter time. I'm starting to understand that, like mentally. But anyways, she's over. You know, a little dirty winter's over. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna cook the rest of this up. I'm gonna cook up all the skin and stuff and give it to this guy. A couple bones in there. <sighs> Nothing like spring trout. I've, this is all I've ever wanted. To take a dog on a canoe trip. It's all I've ever wanted. And he is doing just so good. I know I've said it a hundred times, but I'm just super, super, super happy about it. Super pleased with them. Oh, keep that. Hey, bud. Enjoy. Why are you drinking that? Here we go. There's a whole link. Well, this is a good little outing. Hey, bud. We're going to uh, start making our way back slowly back to the lake we camped on. I'm probably going to fish some uh, on the way out. I stopped fishing as soon as I caught that uh, trout. And we came here and, and did this whole thing. So, um, yeah, I only caught one fish. Anyways, wouldn't mind pulling a couple more out. And I will definitely be throwing them back. But just for funsies and to get Wolfie in the swing of things catching fish, you know? can't say good enough things about my fanny pack. Fanny pack brigade.
Wolfie found something. Oh, it's a snake. Wolfie, what are you doing? up there. And swamp donkey. It's munching on grass again. I laid this out in the sun with a couple rocks on it the whole day. Hours and hours. So she's crispy. So dry she's crispy. Actually, I am going to uh, just fold this up until I'm ready to get situated in bed and stuff. I got a notepad, I got chargers, books, a whole nine yards. But I just don't want wolf puncturing anything here. So I'm gonna go boo. -woo. That's what we're gonna do. make my fire I'm really hungry now uh, I ate that fish hours ago and it was a lot of work getting back here um, I'll make a fire and probably make some chili the winds died right down I'm happy for that right now because there are no bugs but again We shall see what tomorrow brings. You can see how uneven the ground is when you look back here. The tarps set up to the ground. And then you've got like a foot, two foot gap, almost a foot and a half gap there to no gap. That's nice. What are you doing? <laughs> He's so far away. Just staring at me. Good boy. What are you doing, Wolf? Hey? Okay, now he's laying down. He's laying down over there. That's so wild. It's so crazy. He's, he's like 75 meters out, across a little like ditch thing, and up on a rock, laying down, just looking at me. It's so strange. I don't hate it. Like I, I like it. I think it's cool. It's just weird. He's. I think he likes me. You know. 
when we were over there, after I fed him all that trout, he was like sticking right by my side and giving me kisses and the whole nine yards. Even if uh, his love is comes with uh, I can't think of the word even though I have to buy his love of food I'll take it his love is what is the word it starts with a C Anyways, I'm going to stop worrying about that now. So this is going well, as you can see. Nice night. No chair today. I didn't bring one. I'll have to make one up tomorrow. I had a lot of stuff in my backpack for Wolf and I. And I figured I just brought a little piece of nylon to make a uh, like a TP chair thing out of. Parachute chair. Why are you standing on your food, bud? You're standing on your food. Cool boy. All right. You're gonna have some real food this time, not just fish. So Will made up dog food. I've got one, two, three. Hello. Four, five, six. And if I feed them two of those a day, it's plenty. He got one this morning when we woke up, and then he ate all that fish. So I'm sure he's okay, but I'm still gonna give him one, or at least some of one. This is chicken, beef, pumpkins, uh, pumpkin innards, um, rice, peas, carrots, probably I think corn. Hold on, hold on. So this is freeze dried obviously, and this is the texture of it. You can eat it like that if he really wants to. But I'm gonna add some water to most of it for him. Silly boy. All right. Sit. Sit. Yeah, yeah. Wait. All but that. Now this water does not have to be warm or hot. This is warm water though. I mixed the, the hot with the cold of the lake. The hot that I had left. And you don't have to mush it around either. I just want to show you what it looks like. So it's legit. It's all really good. No. Sit. See how he throws his head up when I say sit? Sit. <laughs> See that? Good boy. He's defiant. But anyway, uh, it's all cooked, not raw, just so it's easier to deal with out here. Okay, good boy. Well, there are some mosquitoes out. Wolfie's trying to catch them in his mouth. back out on the boat and uh, do a little sunset paddle and maybe fish some more but the back's giving me a little bit of problems. Yeah, be 
nice to lay down, but maybe I'll go. I can lay down when I get back. We got some wood cut. It's uh, quarter after eight. I think I have until about nine o'clock for light. So if I get just a little bit of this cut, I'll feel better about it. And we will go for a little paddle. Wolf's KO'd. And the peepers are getting louder. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> love it. Oh, I'm getting a little chilly. I'm quite tired. So we're going to head back. We didn't go far. I am chilled. I had to wake Wolf up to hop out of the canoe once we got back to camp. He was uh, extremely asleep. About as asleep as I've ever seen. At least in the canoe. So we're going to stoke this up and uh, get warm. Put some layers on. I'll change out of my wet socks once I go to bed. I only have the one pair of boots. So, should be pretty warm tonight, hopefully. And I should sleep pretty good too because I busted my butt today. Anybody? Hey you too. You too. You're my good boy. My good boy. Huh? You did a good job. You did such a good job today. Good boy, Wolf. Good boy. Oh, good boy. I never thought of this before. I just don't I want to be very careful with it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, might not be worth it. I don't weigh much.
<laughs> Look at me, I have a chair. No way. No way. Okay, Swift. Okay, Swift. We need to talk. <laughs> maybe we maybe a little insert like a plate that snaps on the bottom, which is a plastic thing that snaps on the bottom that gives it rigidity and structure. Because as of now, this is carbon, but it's only got at least one rack that the um, that it attaches to the canoe with. But, you know what I mean? With a little bit more rigidity or structure, this very well may be a, a highly useful thing. You don't have to bring a camp chair if your canoe or pack boat seat is one, right? It'd be nicer if I had flat ground. It's a commodity, right? Oh, yes, yes, this is so good. This is so good. I can tighten in the back or loosen it. Oh, this is so good. Okay. I gotta put layers on. You grab my book and all that stuff, but this made me happy. <laughs> it's the little things, you know? This is my view from bed. Pretty awesome, eh? Uh, a symphony. A symphony of frogs. My dog out there loving the fire. And Get to enjoy it all with this open tarp. Well, nothing left to do now but frickin' hit the hay, bud. Change into those clothes, like I said, and uh, I'm sure I'll have a nice sleep tonight. It is well, well needed, much needed. Some room, man. We're gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna go to bed now. This guy's KO'd. Wherever he is. All right, folks. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's just after six. I'm gonna lay here for a little bit longer, I think. I had a good sleep. The big brook trout. Wolfie, stay. This is a big brookie. Look at the size of this thing. Holy crap. That's maybe a personal best.